The RNLI Sea Survival Pool was opened in 2005 as part of our continuing commitment to volunteer training and development. At 25 metres in length and with a depth of over 4 metres, it is the largest sea survival pool in the UK. And size really does matter when you're training volunteers to prepare for the worst conditions the weather can throw at them. Combining the very best simulation techniques with expert tuition, the survival pool was built with two main purposes in mind. Firstly, to train our volunteers to deal confidently with a range of life-threatening scenarios in the most realistic conditions we could achieve. And secondly, and perhaps more importantly, to ensure that those scenarios are presented in as safe and controlled an environment as we can possibly achieve. So what kind of training do we put our volunteers through in the pool? As you can imagine, sea survival training comes pretty close to the top of the list, and leaping from the four-metre jump platform situated over the pool is the first taste of what's in store for many of our sea survival volunteers. Abandoning ship is always a last resort, but one that our volunteers must know how to undertake properly in case of an emergency. Scrambling into their life rafts, the pool's wave machine ensures a confused and chaotic sea state is rapidly achieved. Conditions quickly worsen as the lights go out and high-powered wind machines whip up the waves and bluster the life rafts. Freezing, lashing rain is supplied courtesy of a high-pressure fire hose before thunder, lightning and howling winds engulf the pool all supplied through our state-of-the-art sound and lighting systems. Only after a grueling 45 minutes of this continuous pounding are the crews winched back to the safety of the jump platform and the end of their scenario. But the Sea Survival Pool has another critically important role to play in the training of our volunteers and it's a role that has already paid dividends. Although our boats are designed to safely put to sea in all kinds of weather, Sometimes, things can go wrong. And if they do, our crews need to know instinctively what the safest course of action should be. Capsize training is central to the ILB, or Inshore Lifeboat courses, held on a weekly basis here in Poole. Volunteer crews from around the coast of Britain and Ireland spend their first day of training, quite literally, in at the deep end. Thoroughly briefed, and with trained instructors on board, the crews are capsized on their own class of boat using the survival pool's gantry crane and the capsize strops. Once capsized, the crews immediately carry out the agreed emergency drill beneath the upturned hull. eventually emerging safely from beneath the boat to regroup and activate the boat's self-writing mechanism. A similar scenario is carried out with the D-Class capsize, but with the crew members actually righting the boat themselves. Throughout their training in the survival centre, our volunteers are issued with state-of-the-art PPE, personal protective equipment, designed to keep them as safe and warm as possible. A prerequisite, you might think, for training in a pool that's only source of heating is from the ambient air temperature within the building itself. However, 
you'll be surprised to learn that the average temperature of the pool, even in the winter months, only ever drops as low as 20 degrees centigrade, and in the summer reaches a maximum of 25 degrees centigrade. Our volunteers can also rest safe in the knowledge that the water they're actually training in is as clean as they're likely to encounter anywhere. Two huge ozone filters constantly clean the water in the pool and additional low-level chlorination means that accidentally swallowing the water isn't going to do our crews any harm at all. That said, if a crew member were to take up the challenge of drinking the pool dry, it would take them a staggering 1,260 years, assuming they drank a hearty five pints a day. The survival pool is a resource that the RNLI are immensely proud of and one that we know we are extremely fortunate to have. It fulfills a fundamental role in the training we now provide and has at its very heart the ethos of the RNLI. It enables us to train our crews to save lives at sea.